the hype hits Hollywood. We find out the red carpet secrets of our favourite E faces. Plus, Star Style uncovered. The A-list's A-team revealed their tricks to nailing award season glam. And red carpet bods, I've got the LA workouts to get you looking like an Oscar winner. That's coming up and so much more on The Hype's awards season special. Hey guys, I'm Ksenia Lukic and welcome to The Hype's awards season special. And we're in LA. I'm coming to you from the iconic Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, the home of the very first Oscars back in 1929. We're taking you behind the scenes from the style squad to the beauty gurus to uncover how you can come to LA and live like a star. And if there's one woman who's grown up on the red carpet, it has to be E's very own Melissa Rivers. She invited me into her home to spill all her award season secrets. Take a look. Thank you so much for having us in your divine home. Oh, thank you. When you're prepping for award season, how long does it really take to get everything organized? Basically, I stop eating after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the hardcore cleanse usually starts the first week of January. Everyone's trainers are fully booked. You can't get a facial, you can't get your fill, you can't get your Botox. a lot of work. This year I did the backstage interviews for Golden Globes. You know, you never know who you're going to get, so you have to be prepared for everybody. You have to see every single movie, which, by the way, yes. is not hard work. We would get these enormous research notebooks that you would spend a few days reading, at least about all the nominees and presenters, so that when you talk to them, you were up to speed. Plus, you have note cards to check. At one point, it, we got so good at it, we knew more than what was in the research notebooks. And we used to call research and be like, guys, come on. Get up to speed on this stuff. They've already had the baby. They're not pregnant anymore. It's really, really hot here in LA and people come up to me and they're sweating. So I've created this little like Menounos corner where I have a bucket of ice and I'm generally putting ice cubes down everyone's cleavage. And they come up and they're like, give it to me. <laughs> Which tops have you put ice cubes oh, down? Sure. Like Sophia Vergara, everyone. I, everybody who came up. You and your mom really coined the whole phrase, who are you wearing? Yes. Right? My mom was the first one who said, who yeah. are you wearing? I just she flew like out and it stuck. And my mom was always a fashion girl and always a clothes horse. So she's always been in that fashion world. So it wasn't what are you wearing, it was who, because she meant who's the designer. Most people are given the clothes and the jewels for free, if not being paid to wear them. It's a business. Have you ever kind of had a little bit of a fluff? Oh, a lot of mistakes. Well, first of all, my mom could never say anybody's name. And that apparently at one point became a drinking game. <laughs> How many times she would screw up somebody's name. It became like a pop, like a drinking game that people would do when they were watching. My most embarrassing moment was we were at the SAG Awards. Someone came around, we're live, came around in position next to me, and I turn around and I am literally eyeball to eyeball with Tom Cruise. And I managed to utter, hi. And that was all I could get out. <laughs> He's got that movie star charisma. And when you're this far and you're eye to eye, you're like, Oh, And we see the big cameras, we see the sweeping red carpet mm -hmm. shots. And is it really as crazy as it looks? It is. I mean, it's very kind of high energy and everyone's buzzing around. And, you know, the stars are trying to get through a million interviews. And then they have to get inside and find their seats. And, you know, they're hot. They got to go to the bathroom before they go sit down. And people are starving. Like, sometimes they have snacks at my little Menudo's corner, too. Because I've seen Jennifer Lawrence. Like, I'm starving. Yeah. Where's the so food? I always have peanut M&Ms because it's a little <laughs> bit of sugar, but the peanut will, like, pull them over a little bit. My mother always said the red carpet is like the best cocktail party ever. Everyone stops to talk to you for just long enough. I always said everybody's in a good mood still because no one's lost yet. Everybody's walking in still like, hope springs eternal, it could be my year. So no one's sulking and pissed off and excited. It's like a great cocktail party. Oh, it was so wonderful to be able to spend time with Melissa and Maria. They are such great ladies. Now, we've given you an all-access pass to the red carpet interview. It's time to talk one thing, the dress. Let's face it, guys, when it comes to awards season, we are all glued to our TV to see who is wearing what and who is doing it well. But just how do these gorgeous gowns end up on our favourite stars? I caught up with the ultimate style squad to find out. Welcome to LA. Thank you. 
what's it like during award season? Nuts. It completely changes. Everybody from out of town comes in. So loads of people from, from London, Australia, <laughs> New York, and there's a real buzz about the city. Many people usually only see immediately what they see on the red carpet, so they have no idea what goes on behind the scenes. With their stylist, they're not just picking out one dress. They might be picking out 20. And so it's a huge routine, I guess, where the stylist will come in with rails and rails of clothes, um, loads of shoes, set them up almost like a palace, and then they'll just try things on. And, you know, I do the same process when I'm trying to find my dress, and I feel like, like with any girl when you go shopping for something, there's that moment when you get the right one and you know it, and it's usually for me it's like the second or third dress, and that's yeah. it, done. We've just had the Golden Globes and you dressed one of our very own Juliana Rancic. <laughs> I did, I did. It was really lovely. I've been dressing her for, for a while and it was probably the best one that we've done for her so far. I think we, you know, we got the colour right, she looked amazing. So it was kind of a, it was a good surprise for me. But it, it was perfect for her, for her body shade. I loved it. It was this beautiful persimmon orangey red. Mm. This is the dress here. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. So did you make this specifically for her? No, it was part of the current collection. So many things get pulled in for different people, you know, especially Juliana, she's got so many options to look at. You never know that it's going to happen until it's literally happened. It, you know what, it's crazy. This whole world is like a little game. The designers don't know if they're going to wear it. You don't know if they're going to wear it. It's just one of those things where you're going off pure hope and faith and just like, oh my God, like it has to just work out. Just let it, let it work. I just put it out of my mind. And then when it happens, it, it's just a great surprise. I get, get quite excited. Who has been your favourite to work with? Your Besides my E-team, it was super fun working with Zach Efron. That was Ooh. awesome. Yeah, I worked with him on some, mm. some projects mm. with his, uh, with you his know crew. That he is my favourite. No way. In the past couple of years, we've dressed Sandra Bullock, we've dressed Jennifer Lopez, Lucy Hale, you know, Alessandro Ambrosio, Gigi Hadid. You know, there's been a really good group of girls that uh, that I really like. Kendall Jenner, we haven't done yet. I'm coming for you, by the way. Oh. Um, you know, I mean, Kate Hudson, I would love to dress. I think she's really beautiful. There's there's a lot of people in that, uh, you know, in that arena. And so, but it will come. We've got the Oscars coming up. Have you guys sent over any yeah, new have. items? We have. You just don't know if it's going to happen or not. Well, here's hoping we'll see more Alex Perry at the Oscars. Coming up next, we're headed to the spa to try out the luxurious treatments celebrities swear by. Plus, hairdresser confessions. The man behind Kate Winslet's locks reveals his red carpet secrets. And party like a star. We've got the LA hotspot lowdown to help you get on the guest list. That's all still to come on our awards season special. Welcome back to the Hives Awards season special, direct from LA. When it comes to pampering themselves in style, A-listers know this is the place. I'm here at the exclusive Four Seasons LA at Beverly Hills, and this spa is where Hollywood's hottest come to get that glowing red carpet skin. From diamonds to DNA, the team here have all kinds of magic potions at their disposal. Take a look. So we're here at the Four Seasons Spa LA at Beverly Hills with Esthetician May. Now you do some amazing facials here at the spa. What's gonna get you red carpet ready? My favorite facial right now would be the DNA facial. Helps to brighten the skin, great for anti-aging, basically good for all skin types too because we'll customize it. I can also offer you the Diamond Youth Peel. Again, a really exfoliating treatment of the skin that's gonna make it nice and bright. I mean, I know that you've had some celebrity guests that you can't mention. Yes. And how far before the award show do they get the facial? Uh, usually the week of. You can do it with a DNA facial. You can do it the day of. Your makeup will go on smooth like silk. Everything will be really bright and hydrated. So the DNA facial mm -hmm. is exclusive to the Four Seasons Spa, am I right? It is, yes. I saw Louise Rowe tweeted that she had the DNA facial. That's fantastic. Did you do her facial for her? I can't say. <laughs> it's our secret. <laughs> Everything's confidential. Our lovely EP Tess is going to be getting a facial so we can see exactly how it goes down. 
So this is the treatment room that we'll be doing the facial in. Oh, it smells so nice in here. We're gonna start by applying the Neo Bright Serum. This is filled with kojic acid, vitamin A, so great for the dark spots, great for anti-aging. Okay, so now we're gonna begin the exfoliation part. We're gonna start on the forehead. It doesn't hurt at all. More of just a vibration. And that's very gentle. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. And it's warming the skin, so it's really allowing the product to get nice and deep here. How far in advance would you recommend people book? Uh, typically, a week in advance is great. Yeah. You may want to book a little further in advance if it's around the holiday season or award season. So we are all finished with your facial. How do you feel? I feel like I've lost 10 years. Your skin yeah. looks amazing. It's nice and smooth, plumped right up. We added so many lipids to the skin. It looks beautiful. Look, full of lipids. Full of lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Perfect. you so much. You're welcome. Babe. You're glowing. Now, once you have that flawless skin, the next step to ruling the red carpet is nailing your hair and makeup. And LA is home to some of the best beauty experts in the biz. Here's what trends will be seeing at the Oscars and how you can do it at home. I mean, you have done some makeup for some pretty incredible stars. So Gigi Hadid, Kate Hudson. If you scrolled really far back, I used to do Britney when she was Britney. I mean, you have done hair for some amazing celebrities. Tell me, who's been your favorite? Well, Kate, I love Kate. She's a classic. I did all the press for it. You see all the billboard posters, you see all the magazine covers, anything, you name it, I was involved. Wow, in. was that fun doing that hair? Because that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, a lot of pieces. Oh, but yeah, a lot of pieces. I but... mean, let's be real here, that's not all her hair. World exclusive. Yeah, that's Which where it all looks started. did you create on Brie? Um, I guess most notably was the denim outfit. <gasps> And I really thought it was so ridiculous at the time. Babe, that's everything. Yeah. Tell me about Leo. Great guy. I was the guy that sort of clipped his hair from being that beautiful sort of into that mode. That, that was you? <laughs> that was me. I remember coming out of the Four Seasons Hotel, getting into cars with Leo and Kate. We're going to The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And of all my years that I've done that route, I have never seen the world press follow like hundreds of people just at every stop sign, taking photos, banging on the car, moving the car. I think he handled it really well. Anyone could have gone crazy. Well, well, tell us about doing Gigi Hadid's makeup. You did it for the Bad Blood video. So with Gigi, she's got such beautiful blue eyes, so I wanted to do like this electric blue, something to pop her eyes off. Taylor came into the trailer and she was like, what name do you want to do? And Gigi's like, Slazy. I was like, let's just do some silver. I did micro glitter. What is micro glitter? It's glitter that's not super, it's like so fine that it just sparkles. I mean, what's the key to getting this glamorous red carpet hair? The key is making it classic. Don't overpower the dress, don't overpower the makeup, don't overpower whatever's going on, work with it. Do you have like a favorite hairstyle that you like to do? Yeah, I've done it many yeah. times on K's. Lightly tussled with your fingers in a, in a low bun and keep it really tight and simple. Either middle parting, side parting, depending on... The face. Well, let's talk about, you know, your favorite red carpet look. I am absolutely loving what Olivia Wilde did on the Golden Globes carpet. I've been banging out this maroon red eyeshadow a lot lately. So to see that Olivia did it on the red carpet was just kind of like, my own satisfaction, like, hey, yeah, I was on trend. Now, I would really love to see one of these looks come to life. Okay. Do you think you can show us? I think I can. This is a little bit more of an Olivia Wilde inspired look that can be worn at home. Yeah, I would call this inspired because, you know, I chose the maroon colors. I love to pop a little, like, blush into the crease at the very end. It just sort of warms everything up. I'm using a maroon color. This is the same color I just used in her crease, and I'm just sweeping it underneath her bottom lash line. So the next step is gonna be the mascara. We could do individual lashes, that's an option, but with a bold eye like this, I feel like the lashes would actually take away from the makeup. Well, she looks lovely. I think she's gonna be ready for the red carpet. I think so. Well, those are some tricks I'll definitely be trying at home. 
Still to come in the Hype's Awards season special. Running the Runyon, I find out just what it takes to get into Oscar's shape. Plus, party like a star. We've got the scoop on LA's most exclusive hotspots and how you can make the guest list. That's coming up next. the Heights Awards season special. I'm here at Runyon Canyon, guys, and this is the place that the celebrities come to work out. And with a view like this, it's not hard to see why. So just how do our favourite stars stay in such good shape? Let's find out. So we're with Jason Dundas. We're here at Runyon Canyon. How are you? I'm pretty good. Well, you live here most yeah. of the year. This is one of the big exercise spots. It is. Right? It's kind of like the go-to spot. So there's a bit of celeb spotting here. Yeah. Have you seen any celebs? Yeah, the thing is, when I first arrived in LA, I came here and the first person I saw walk up the hill was Mark Wahlberg. So nice. it was a big moment. I kind of fell over. Such an active lifestyle in LA. It is, yeah. You can surf in the morning and then hike a mountain in the afternoon. But um, if you wanted to get into premium award season shape and wear some really nice dresses... Let's do it. I came up with a little workout for you. Oh, I'm so excited. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the quads. We're going to do some box jumps onto this. OK, let's do All it. Right, let's go. There's one. <laughs> Two. This is high. All right. Now we're going to go straight into jumping lunges. For award season, if you want to wear tight pants, it's going to make your butt look all toy. So we're going to jump up. One. Oh, you're pretty good at that one. All right, now we're going to do dips on this side, which work your back so you look nice in those backless dresses oh, and the I shoulders like and the arms. That's quite a burn, isn't it? Best triceps in LA. Uh, all right, let's get you on the plank. Now hold your stomach in tight and then keep your butt level straight. And I'm going to time you for six minutes. What? <laughs> now I'm going to give a surf set a go. OK. Have you ever heard of that? No, I didn't know what that is. It's basically surfboards sitting on BOSU balls. OK. And so you've got a balance on there. Works your core and all that sort of stuff. Works everything. Nice. So we're here with Mina Herskowitz, who is the owner of Sandbox Fitness. LA during award season gets a little bit crazy. Everyone needs to get into shape before getting onto that red carpet. Yes. How does Surfset help with that? So Surfset's amazing because it kind of covers all aspects of fitness. It gets cardio, flexibility, balance, core, strength. It's a 45-minute class, and you're going to come out of here feeling amazing. I think we've seen a couple of celebrities coming in and out. We have. We have quite a few celebrities here. I, I love when they come take the classes. It makes us feel good. I would love to take a picture, but um, I want them to keep coming back. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'll, le I'll leave it today. Well, let's give it a little bit of a go. All right. Come on down to your belly here like Okay. This. All right, so now let's just lift your feet, start paddling out. <laughs> just like we're swimming out into the ocean. Let's go catch. Oh, no, man down. <laughs> when I say wave, okay. we're just going to tuck our hands, okay. tuck our toes, and pop up like we're riding away. Ready? Wave. Tuck. Oh, wait, we're getting pop up. Pop it up. Oh, there we go. That was oh, good. Yeah. Just, you can rock forward Woo. and back, ride that wave. You can go forward here. Woo! Nice. All right, come back down. So this is a good full body move. You got your shoulders here, getting those sexy arms for your dress. <laughs> and then right here, take your hands, tuck your toes, yeah. catch that wave, pop the other way now. Try and pop oh. it up. <laughs> All right, let's work on that butt right here. Okay. Okay, so we've done three exercises and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty killer class, but it's it's amazing and you'll see results immediately. And you did awesome! Oh, thank you. Woo! <laughs> Thankfully, LA is not only known for its healthy living, it's also home to some of the best nightlife in the world. I'm back here at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, which is infamous for its pool parties. If you want to live like an A-lister during award season, you can do it here. And of course, you guys are going to want to know, where else can I go? Don't worry, I've got your back. In the name of research, of course. Check it out. So we're here with E's very own. How are you? Hello, I'm well. How are you? It's so nice to see you again. Oh, it's great to be here with you and have some drinks and Hi. talk about Hollywood. Well, OK, so it gets a little bit crazy in award season. You know, there's celebrity everywhere. What are some places that our viewers can go to find celebs? Find the celebs? Well, it depends on what type of venue you want to go to. If you're talking about clubs, there's Craig's in West Hollywood, and you will surely find George Clooney, John Legend, Chrissy Teigen, and then there's places like The Nice Guy. You'll surely see Bieber, Kendall, Kylie, Gigi, Zane, Nick, 
Kate Hudson. And what about Chateau Marmont? We've heard a lot about that, you yes. know, so back home. It's actually a hotel and they have a bar as well. And they have delicious food, great drinks. The wine is absolutely divine. You'll see, you know, Kardashians there often, Kanye West, they frequent that place. Um, and the Paps are out there all the time. What's your ideal girls night out? My ideal girls night out, let's see. I think it would start with Roger Room. It's low key, it's great atmosphere, world class drinks, I would say. And then you know what, probably after you go to the nice guy. Anything can yeah. happen here, really. Yeah, definitely, anything can happen. I think one time, yeah, I had a nice girls night out and ended up at the, the house where they shot Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, a nice Hollywood house party. Well, Houston Brothers, it's a lovely to meet you. How are you both? Good, great. You have a couple of other bars. We're in one of them now. This one's called No Vacancy. It's a pretty cool vibe in here. Thank you. It's just like a whole experience. There's dancing, there's DJing, there's a burlesque show. Every night is something special. Like Sam Smith, Sam when he Smith. played here, he was just up and coming. He kind of launched here. It was it was an amazing thing. Tom York. Tom York, DJ's here. Skrillex. Diplo, and the list goes on. You guys all have so many interesting entrances. Yeah. Talk us through the entrance when you come to No Vacancy. You walk up, go through the door. When you walk up a flight of stairs, there's a row of doors. There's three different doors, and each door is a different kind of entrance. You choose one of the doors, and I don't know, should we spoil this? I don't oh, know. No, want to spoil okay. it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. And then something amazing happens. And oh. something amazing happens. So, so you guys get pretty busy around award season? Around award season, it's really hard to kind of get in here. Do you have any tips for people who want to get into these places? I mean, of course, it's who you know, like any other place. You could also call in advance for reservation, but when it comes to waiting in line, I recommend, you know, showing up well-dressed, you know, proper attire for these places. And if you're a girl, that definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a little Hollywood for probably half. Hollywood. You gotta have the look, you know, and just uh, walk up there confidently. And you know, if you have a good group of people, they'll definitely let you in. Well, cheers. Cheers to that. Well, guys, I hate to say it, but that's a wrap on our awards season special. We've had such a blast taking you behind the scenes, and I hope you guys now have everything you need to live like a real A-lister. A massive thank you to Discover LA and, of course, the iconic Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. The Hype will be back next week with all our Oscars coverage. In the meantime, keep up to date with all things celebrity on E! Online. See you then.